Good morning, Johan. So do I stand up with shoes up a lot? It's really good to see you all again. Because as I mentioned last night, it's always a real honor for us. And uh, you were proud to be here to uh, help you in this wonderful uh, weekend you're having here. You're producing, you're interpreting our spirituality through your work. And when I walk through there, I can see and feel the message from creation as a relative. And that's what you're doing for us here. So I want to thank you. And uh, uh, Marty and I will sing a four direction song calling on the relatives to all the directions to be with us. Uh, our spirituality is we make a plan. We make a decision of what we're going to do. And once we make that decision, we call on the relatives to all the directions. Above, the star people, the sun, the moon as relatives, the earth, telling them what we are planning to do. And asking them to support us and help us. We never ask or beg. In our philosophy, the worst thing you can do is you take somebody's time because you're not prepared. So we try and avoid that by living with creation the best we can. We never beg from creation, but we always say, here's what I'm going to do, and I want your support. So this morning, my colour Francis will call on the relatives to all the directions. And as he does that, the Marty, again, well, my nephew, will sing a four direction song. Song simply says, look to the west. Your relative is there. Embrace that relative. Talk to them. Look to the north, east. Embrace your relatives. So we're going to ask you to do that through music, our way of expressing ourselves in our needs, our appreciation is through music and with a drum. <laughs> I'm from Kaya, South Dakota, which is uh, about uh, it's about 30 miles south of uh, Wall Drug and uh, Interstate 90. And I got a little studio out there, and I I call myself a story keeper because I paint a lot of things that ha has the stories be with the old people that tell me. And this picture here is the wounded knee. And I try to put everything in her that explains the picture, the feelings, you know. This is kind of a, uh, people don't like to see some of this stuff, 
but actually I do a lot of this stuff for uh, museums and different things and I think that's where our history is stored because in the Indian ways history was never really written until the white people came and then they start writing history books you know so this is one way the Indian people kept their stories through paintings. It was the reason why they, they painted their faces white too, you know, it's because they believed that they were spirits. You know, no bullets or anything could hurt them, you know. Okay. I'm Wanda Blacks with Peacock and I grew up on the Lower Burrow Indian Reservation. I now live in Rapid City, South Dakota and I am the owner and creator of Lakota Angels and I started my Lakota Angels because there were so many um, angel collectors and I'd never seen an, uh, an Indian angel so I designed my own and that's been, um, I've been in business since about 1996 and still going. And along with the Lakota Angel, I have the Lakota Cradle Baby and the Bundle Baby. And I also have designed the Dreamcatcher ornament hanger to display the items on. It's been a very great. This is one of the most popular designs, the Four Direction, the Mitakyo Yasi. We are all related. and I'm from the Ogallala Lakota Sioux Tribe down on Pine Ridge Indian Reservation and I do a mixture of things. I do a lot of the porcupine quill work and I also do beading and um, a lot of mix, mixture of my porcupine and beading together. And what's your website? My website is www.lakotamall.com and go to Lakota Dreams. I'm Harley Zephyr. My Lakota name is Wambli Hokshila. I'm from the Cheyenne River Sioux Reservation, as they call it. I call it the Lakota. My tribal identity is I'm Mini Koju on my mother's side, and Madewa Kanta on my father's side. Most of my work is done in the Tioshpai way, a family way. I paint with earth paints. I do my own hides. Most of my preparation and knowledge of what I do in my art world was passed on from my grandmother and my families, and my uncles. So I, this is my way of representing to the world our people and to show a pride and identity for what we do as American indigenous people.